26. The other group also has 26. So which we have three different numbers over here. Which number is actually look, looking very special to you? 26 is two of them, right? Yeah. So you take it out. 26 times 4 what? Three. This was our mistake last time. Lots of you actually put like a divide, uh, multiply, or subtract. So why did I put a plus over here? Francisco. Yeah. Got it? Okay, only the one person got this problem right when we did the trial test. Okay, so it's okay. All right. Any questions about it? Yeah, it's almost. Um, why, um, why do you have to, um, why do you have to get rid of one of the 26? Well, you don't have to. But if I ask you to use this distributive property, you use it. But do you have to use this way? No. No. It is still the same answer. Well, yeah, you will still get the same answer. You don't have to. You don't have to. You can get a product over here and plus that product over here. But then this way, it makes it easier. It just makes it easier to certain people. Do you have to? No. Talk about that. Okay, what are the other ways you have learned? Associative, communicative, right? And what else? Geometry, right? Geometry, geometry, right? Okay, so you actually break it. Remember, uh, what if it's 32 times 75, and then this would be 70 plus 5, right? And 30 